I'm Lisa from Lori's Country Cottage. Thanks for joining me for How Tuesday. Today I'm going to show you how to make the Quilt Smart Market Bag. Each packet contains two panels and each panel makes two bags. So you get four bags out of each package. Plus there's a bonus project. Join me and I'll show you how to do it. All right, here are your supplies. Each Quilt Smart package contains two panels. Each panel makes two bags. So one package will make four bags. I've chosen two fabrics to make my bag reversible. So I'm gonna be able to make two bags with two yards of fabric. Plus, I'm going to make a little twist. I'm gonna make one market bag and one toddler's dress, both at the same time. I'll also need thread to match for top stitching, good scissors, and you'll need a turning tool. I use my stitchy sticks, they're my go-to. You're gonna need something with a long handle. A short-handled turner is not gonna work. Let's get going. One of the things I love about Quilt Smart panels is they are so clearly marked. There are cutting lines and sewing lines. So cut out your panels where indicated. Here are my two panels, one for the dress and one for the bag. To make both the dress and the bag reversible, cut along the fold of both fabrics. Once you've cut on the fold and separated them, mix them up. Stack one outside fabric and one lining fabric together. So you'll have two sets. Sew them back together on that same seam line where the fold was. Here they are stitched together. For the rest of the pattern, that will still be called the fold. We're gonna pretend that's the fold of fabric. Take one of your panels and line it up on the fold. It's clearly marked where to line it up. Press the panel to the fabric. Do not try and slide your iron. This is a press and lift motion. Start with medium high heat. If that doesn't work, turn your iron a bit hotter. Trim your edges on the left and right sides so that they're straight. Pin through all layers in between all of the cutting and stitching lines. Stitch on all of the stitching lines using a smaller stitch length. I used 2.0. Here are both my market bag and my toddler's dress all stitched up. Now cut on the cutting lines and then snip the curves where indicated using your stitchy stick Turn your pockets right side out. Press your pockets nice and flat, making sure to turn in the seam allowances at your openings. All right, skip this step if you're making the dress. This is for the market bag only. Place your pins where indicated on the foundation and poke them through. Lift the top layer of fabric and find your pins. Put your pocket between the pins and pin in place. Repeat for your second pocket. All right, now we're working with both projects again, back to the market bag and the dress. Fold both of them right sides together along the width, matching your raw edges. It will look like this. The handles will either flop up or they'll flop down. I removed my selvages at this point. Now put your dress panel aside. It's done. Let's continue working on the market bag on both ends of your piece. Fold in the required amount and pin. On one end, stitch across leaving an opening for turning. 
the other end will not have an opening for turning. Double stitch both ends of the bag. This is the bottom of the bag and it needs reinforcement. Now it's time to turn it right side out through the opening. Press the opening seam allowances in and top stitch to close. Press the edges and the handles and then top stitch. Overlap your handles and stitch well. Here is the market bag all done with the pocket on the outside or the pockets on the inside. I think I would probably leave my pockets on the inside. Let's go back to the dress. Turn your dress panel right side out, right through the open bottom. Use your stitchy sticks to push your straps out. Now we have options for pockets. We can use the blue side or the floral side. We can put two, two pockets, one on each side, one in the middle. I folded down the top of the pocket for a contrast or the reverse, a blue pocket with a contrast band on top. Once you've decided where your pocket is gonna go, it's time to pin it on and then stitch it down. Make sure you're only stitching through one layer. You can choose to put a pocket on both layers if you want and make your little dress reversible. We also have options for the straps. You can tie knots at the top or do buttons or snaps. Stitch around the straps and the top edge. Now you have options for the bottom of your dress. You can hem each piece separately and leave them loose. You could add rickrack or a ruffle or even another band of fabric. My second fabric was longer, so I simply folded it up and created a contrast hem. Here is my finished dress and the finished market bag. Roll up your market bag and secure it with a hair elastic. They're easy to stow or you can fold it flat. I hope you enjoyed watching how to use Quilt Smart foundations to make the market bag. We have all kinds of Quilt Smart products in the store. If you enjoyed that, we have the Mondo and Midi bags, shopping totes, cooler totes, Christmas tree skirts, makeup bags. There's all kinds of stuff that you can make. The market bag is really great for personalizing for gifts, and you can make four in no time at all. Thanks for joining me for How Tuesday.